Hello, elites, and welcome back to The Sims 3. This is episode 2 of Road to 1 Million. And in this episode, we are back with this bitch, Christina Lin. And what we're gonna do today with our broke asses, we got 90... <laughs> 90 some dollars, yes. Barely anything, we're broke. So, um... We... What is she doing? She left off on making breakfast, it's been a second, so... I'm kind of trying to remember what we were doing. She's making breakfast for herself. What is that? Waffles? What did you do? Pour milk in there? Ooh, look at that. Ooh. All right. She's going to cook on her cheap ass stuff. So what we're going to do in this episode is we're probably going to um, update a lot of her furniture because a lot of her furniture needs to be updated. We're on that Sims level one furniture, which sucks ass. You're uncomfortable. Your food comes out tasting like fridge. It burns. So we got to upgrade everything. We're broke right now, but I think we... Yeah, see, she needs a fire extinguisher, or a fire alarm, and she doesn't have one. I don't know if she's going to set her food on fire. Let's hope she doesn't. Um, let's really hope she does <laughs> Please don't set your food on fire. Please. Please. Okay, good. Uh, so she didn't set her food on fire, so <laughs> she's learning how to cook. Um, hopefully when she gets into, like, level four, she'll never, ever, like, catch a fire in her kitchen, ever. She'll probably do it a few times, which will suck. Alright, so I'm just looking at her statistics. She needs to pee and go to sleep, basically. Okay, fucking wash your dishes. Don't be a mess. Um, use the toilet, and then energy-wise, go to sleep. Um, she needs to make friends with her boss, Marie Idaho. Oh, she lives right there, the, the Idaho household. And, oh, you know what? These two beds. I just realized, uh, she can sleep in this bed, and these two beds right here... Uh, because this is like a three-person family home, which we're going to delete. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to delete this. Um, this. Yeah, actually, we can get rid of a lot of the stuff and make it so we just all the stuff for her. Because it's only her living in the house. That's actually pretty nice because she'll make a million dollars much faster instead of having to spend on somebody. You're like getting two of everything. Oh. All right. Let's go ahead and get the fire alarm now. So next time she cooks, she doesn't burn the house down. All right, and now, um, we have some money now. We have not a lot, but you know, we have eight hundred so dollars. So not bad. We can probably spend that. See, look, she already has a bad mood lit. Uneven cooking. Wow. Wow. So it's because of that cheap ass stove. Let's see if we can get a better stove. How much would that cost? Uh, what kind of stove is this? Get get rid of this. Go. Oh, oh, that gave us four hundred dollars. Now we're up to twelve hundred. Let's see what we can buy. Let's go to large appliances. Okay, so we cannot buy the most expensive, which is going to be this one right here. The Festus 44, which is $1,400. Oh my god, that's an expensive ass oven. That better cook like five turkeys at once, the fuck? Okay, so she can buy this one. So, yep, that's that one. And then uh, she can buy other stuff too. Let's see. So, we'll get it in black because uh, we want like a shiny black chrome. Because I hate white chrome or like light colored chrome metal. It's hard to wipe that crap down. Freak, dude. All right. So, she's sleeping. Hopefully, come on, let's fast forward. Why is it not going fast? Boom, boom. All right. Uh, karma is about to happen because it happens at about 11:50 in the game. 11:50 p.m. Come on. Do it. Do it. Do the roar. Do the karma. Okay. Please be good. Cross our fingers. Yams. 13 karma. Let's see. Oh, guys, guys, by the way, um, I'm going to make it so there's no rules against using the uh, jackpot. Um, yes, we can use it. We'll use it when she wakes up. There's no rules for me against using the jackpot uh, karma power because it's there for a reason. Um, if I'm going to get to a million dollars, do you realize how much a million dollars is? That's going to take forever, especially in The Sims. I played off camera on a different account, and uh, I'm barely at 250000 and I've been playing for like a week. So... No, more like a week and a half, maybe two weeks. So, yeah, it's going to take a second. It's going to be about, like, 40 episodes. So, and that's, like, a week or two real-life time of me sitting in front of the screen for, like, 10 hours a day. This is for a recording, so it's 15 minutes. We got to make as much as we can in 15 minutes. That's the thing. Ah, uh, so let's see. Let's go to this. We're going to go build by. Let's delete her bed. We got $405. That's good. Um... We're going to buy a more expensive, more comfortable bed because a better life starts with more comfortability. comfortability. 
<laughs> I can't even speak. Okay, um, grab this bed right here, the most expensive one. Alright. You call this bed expensive? Jeez, I've seen more expensive ones when I went to American Furniture Warehouse. By the way, check out that vlog if you have not seen it. Um, yeah. They were like, that will be $400 for just the mattress, which is one fucking paycheck. And then <laughs> $2,000 for the frame. I'm like, wait, hold on. You read the print more carefully, and it's like, for half the frame, for just one little piece, it's a $2,000. It's like, what the day? Fuck off. And they act like it's the most realist wood. It probably is real wood, but it's probably fake also. Because um, it's hollow as fuck. We're going to get our nice futuristic bathtub. We're already upgrading to the level 10 or nice expensive stuff. Because, well, we need it. So that way she can live a better life, easier as hell. So let's get rid of the, the Bargain John toilet for $225. And let's buy this future perfect toilet. Uh, can we get it in a different, better... Oh, uh, you can't even see the seat. <laughs> it's black. Oh, okay. I want it to be all black and like shiny and like futuristic, but I don't know why. It looks all weird in this texture. Uh, let's see. Let's get the future perfect sink. There we go. Because they do, when she washes her hands, it kind of goes faster. Instead of like sitting there washing your hands, singing the whole happy birthday song, which is bullshit. I don't do that. Just put it on hot, fucking burn your hands, and just soap. Done. Right? Um, so let's see. We're going to get her a, a nice table. No. Nope. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We do not need a long table. What, what is she, who is she going to sit with? <laughs> Meeting adjourned. <laughs> what the fuck does she need a long table for? She's going to need a small circular table for her and maybe one more friend who can come by sometimes. Or maybe her eventual date. Her eventual boyfriend. <laughs> so, you know, just in case. Let's see. Uh, let's get a nice dining chair. Oh, actually, let's do the, the Muga Sitzer. Weird ass. There's some weird ass names for furniture. That's how it's always been all Sims games. Weird ass name furniture. It could be like the Doodle Bop chair. Like, <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> for like $800. Like, what the fuck is that shit? Alright, uh, let's, uh, can we replace the fridge? Because the thing about replacing the fridge is if you're on level one fridge, the food is gonna taste like the fridge. And trust me, I even know what that tastes like in real life. That's disgusting. It tastes like the Arm and Hammer baking soda and it does not taste good, dude. It's like, if you're gonna eat your food and leave it as leftovers, you better put 10 wraps of foil on that shit because it's gotta taste like the fridge. Uh-uh, don't leave that shit out on a plate. Blech. Even milk tastes like that if you just have it uncovered. Uh-uh, that's why you gotta get a nice ass fridge. One of those fucking LG kind of fridges, like, you know? <laughs> the one, it's like so smart, you can just like program it so like, oh, it's Jennifer at the, uh, at the fridge. She likes three ice cubes in her drinks. Oh, it's mom. She loves 10 ice cubes in her uh, drinks. Or maybe like half the damn fucking half the, the container. Like, God, I swear that's how my family is. Half the container. I'm like, where's my ice? The fuck? So we're going to re replace the counters too. We're going to buy. Yes, now we have enough money for the Primo Deluxe Dishwasher. $700. The most expensive one. It's really nice. We're going to get it. Oh, actually, is that the chrome color? Like the little metallic chrome? Yeah, it is. That's really nice. It's all shiny and nice. Alright, so we're done spending money. We're broke again. <laughs> this time with 30 less dollars. God damn it. Oh, man. We have no money. This is how it was when I first got a job. I was like, ooh, a paycheck. Yes. And I ended up with like $2. I was like, I'm broke. <laughs> it's like barely the first week. It's okay. When you get a job, for those of you barely teens, of course, still listening to Justin Bieber probably. <laughs> uh, you'll learn how to budget. Hopefully, at least. And not fucking buy yourself $300 sneakers every day. Because you think you're on fleek. The fuck? Go away with that shit. I like how she just sits at the table by herself. How lonely. She needs a man. She needs a sugar daddy. She needs a hero. <laughs> oh my god. I forgot the lyrics. Um. Oh well. Alright. She's eating her little cereal because she's so broke that she has to eat some Kellogg's Frosted Flakes, bitch. For the next week until you get your paycheck. Well, actually, it's good that Sims get their paycheck every day. Or else that would suck, dude. I would run out of money and not be able to eat. Damn. Because these Sims eat a lot. Depends on your Sim, too. Okay, so, okay. Ooh, her first day of work. I'm excited. Okay. Let's get that money hole. Let's get some coins, bitch. Some coins. <laughs> some of those e-coins, because we're going to put them into the bank. Alright. Um, uh, Turn on the TV and get ready for her to watch it. Hurry up and change your naked ass. Okay. Go sit down. 
Hurry, your fucking- Oh, her carpool's already here, goddammit. Okay, let's try to, like, bring her phone up to, like, the U at least. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, or at least till 7.30. Stop it right now. Okay, okay. Get off. This is what I like to do in real life, too. I like to leave, like, 30 minutes before I have to clock in. Because <laughs> it's like, okay, I can record 10 videos maybe before I leave. I'm like, no, no, it's not possible. I end up recording, like, two. Because <laughs> I fuck around. Alright. Um. So, oh. Yes, okay, befriend, befriend all coworkers. That's a good goal. That's easy. All she has to do is meet her coworkers first, then talk the fuck out of their ears at the water cooler. And that's it. Um. Alright, she has to... Uh, she has, let's see, let's look at her traits. Where are the traits? Ooh, she has a thousand lifetime on board points. Barely. Alright, where could it be? She barely makes $27 an hour, that sucks. Um, well, I mean, that's three times more than me. So good for her. Um, oh yeah, her traits. Where are the fuck are your traits? There they are. So she's absent-minded. She's unlucky, which sucks. There's clumsy. She's an art artistic, and she's friendly. Okay, so two of five of those are good. God damn it. Ugh, I've never dealt with an absent-minded sim. I'm not sure how that's gonna go. Is she just gonna, like, forget to do chores or something? Or just, like, forget her own name or something? I don't know. How bad is it in this game? Don't worry. In the future, we'll change it. And we'll make her kind of OP. We'll change it to, like, you know, she is, like... Uh, ambitious and all that and all kinds of good stuff so that way we can get a lot of promotions as quick as possible and a lot of money and all kinds of bullshit like that because we're trying to reach a million the goal is not to reach a million as like as fast as we can in like 10 episodes or something like that the goal is to like live a hard knock life you know far me so we gotta like work for that money bitch we gotta that's what i'm trying to do in real life low key. i'm trying to like work to a million dollars which is gonna take forever of course i'm, I'm gonna be like 63 but like ooh, like you know <laughs> But, oh well. Alright, so something's weird about this office. That window is off-center, and it's ugly as hell. We gotta change that eventually. Um, I'm, and I plan for that to be on office. I plan to, like, walk in there and have, like, a desk and a laptop for her to be, a, like, a... What is it? A, a workaholic? Traded sim? And she's gonna work from home and make that money. I really want her to make a lot of money. And it's already the second episode, and we have a lot of the house upgraded. We just need to upgrade the TV, the couch and make her an office and then i don't know what to turn that other bedroom into if you guys have suggestions go ahead and suggest you know blah i don't care suggest tell me tell me what you want i don't care i will make it like <laughs> whatever the first suggestion is so let's see let's get her to do that she's not going to get a promotion today unfortunately yeah not yet she's not even close she's stressing out look at her Wow, bitch. <laughs> Why? <laughs> She's coming back from work. No, I don't care about guitar. I don't mind guitar. Okay, good for you. Good for you. Okay. Mm, let's see. Let's see. We need to turn on. Um. Okay, hold on. We gotta wait for her to come home, I guess. Fuck. She's right there. All right. Uh, first, pay the bills, because I saw the bills were $72. For her first bill, $72, that's high. That's high, because usually it's like $59, and that's it. But like, $72, i have never had that before. So, for some reason, I guess I bought the expensive house. God damn it. Anyways, guys, that's it for this episode. I will see you in the next episode that I create. Leave a like if you enjoyed. I hope you did. And so, tell me how the series is going. I like feedback. Um... Christina and I will see you next episode. Goodbye, elites. Goodbye.